um, you know, and, and logging minutes with lineups that, you know, one game you might not log with or could be a few games in a row. So, you know, it's kind of learning on the fly. And I think we're all learning on the fly because of the lack of practice time. You know, um, you know, with this season, it's very difficult to kind of, you know, get those practice minutes on the floor and know what, what works and what does not work. Um, just very strange with that. Um, so, you know, our, our, a lot of our games are also just like, you know, big practices for us too. We, we have to learn on the fly and coach is still learning different lineups and seeing what, what combinations work, what combinations don't work. And uh, myself, I'm out there playing with certain lineups, certain lineups I don't play with, certain lineups I do play with. So I log a lot of minutes with, you know, you know, guys that, you know, may not have logged with, uh, you know, in a couple of games. But like I said, it's all a learning experience and all of us trying to figure it out. If, bro, how do you get comfortable and stay patient with that challenge or that circumstance of needing the games to be the practices because it, the reality of the schedule doesn't allow for actual practices? Um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Uh, Dan, I think you have a follow up. Yeah, LeBron, um, you guys have Boston on Saturday, um, and that, that's kind of one of those rivalries in sports that transcends even the country. I, I, I guess, what's it like to be a part of something so big like Lakers Celtics? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Just knowing the history, um, you know, Lakers Celtics across, um, uh, I mean, throughout the course of, uh, you know, this league and uh, what it means to, uh, what it means to this league, the history of this league. Um, you know, and just seeing some of the biggest games, some of the biggest rivalries, some of the best players that ever played this game to be a part of this rivalry was a pretty cool thing, you know, just learning history. It's not like I didn't personally grow up watching them. Um, obviously, I was, you know, a little bit, you know, a little bit too young in the 80s. Um, you know, and then they had, you know, rekindled a little bit in, in the 2000, uh, late 2000s when, you know, Kobe and them guys were going against Casey and those guys. But, um, you know, it's just it's pretty cool. And right now it's different. Um, you Without the Boston fans um, and without the Laker faithful, it, 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 it's not the same. It won't feel the same on Saturday. Um, it's going to feel great to play another game and play against a very good team, but it won't have that rivalry feel. Just, you know, our, the fans are so much a part of that rivalry, if you could just imagine, you know, and just go back and watch those games, how how key the fans were um, in all the battles over the course of, the, over the course of the years. All right, we'll wrap with Rachel. Ron, when is it in the cycle of games and off days and stuff in a road trip that you feel the most tired? Because we talked a lot about uh, how short the off season was, how much energy it was going to take. And you get to the beginning of the season and there's kind of a burst of we're starting, but you're on a long road trip like this. When is it that you feel it? Is it right after games? Is it on the off days? Uh, I don't get tired. I don't feel tired. Um, you know, I get my sleep. I get my rest. But uh, I have a, 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 a lot of energy. I don't really, I don't get tired. Um, and I don't, I don't even, my mindset never gets to a point where it's like, okay, this is a long road trip. I'm exhausted or I'm tired. Um, I don't, I don't even, I don't even think about that. You know, when we have our games, I'm ready to go. When, when we're not playing, you know, I have an opportunity to rest and get my body back right, get my mind, re, my, my mind refreshed. But um, I don't get tired. What are you doing on this road trip since you can't go out to dinner and maybe hang with guys the way you normally would? What are you doing to keep yourself occupied? Uh, watching a couple of shows on Netflix and on Showtime um, and drinking some wine. It's, 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 uh, it's perfect. <laughs> All right, thank you. I appreciate Thanks. it. My last talker. Your last one. All right, let's go. Yes, let's go.